The leading cause of blindness and vision loss is cataracts, one of the most common surgeries performed today. We know smoking can increase risk, long-term radiation exposure. What about diet? A study of more than 25,000 people with a wide range of diets was recently published. They compared what they called high meat eaters to moderate meat eaters to low meat eaters versus those who ate fish but no other meat versus those eating vegetarian versus those eating vegan. The researchers went out of their way to choose health-conscious subjects so they could factor out smoking, exercise, other non-diet variables. And so the so-called high meat-consuming group, 100 grams a day. That's like one serving in one meal a day. In the U.S., we may average closer to 330 grams a day. So it's like reverse Starbucks labeling. You know how they're small as a tall? Well, here their high meat group is really quite low by American standards. Yet they still found a highly significant trend. Who do you think had the lowest risk of cataracts? Compared with the quote-unquote high meat group, cutting back on meat cuts down your risk about 15%. Just do fish, you're down 21%. No fish, 30% drop in risk. And then no eggs and dairy for the full 40% drop in risk. Overall, compare with meat eaters who consumed 100 grams of meat and meat products a day, fish eaters, vegetarians, and vegans had approximately 20, 30, and 40% lower risk of cataract, respectively. It's like with diabetes risk. There appears to be a stepwise reduction, a progressive decrease in risk in parallel with the decrease in the amount of meat and other animal products in the diet.